quick base tutorial hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you about quick base and how you can basically use it so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is just simply come over to this website called quickbase.com now as you can see this is how their website looks like so it's basically a unified workflow type of website basically managing companies and teams that are working on a project or stuff like that so let's go ahead and simply sign up and uh, as you can see we already have a free trial going on so let's go ahead and claim that because you know how it is uh we want the free trial and over here we have start your 30 day full featured trial so let's go ahead and enter in our business email and our password so just a strong password click on next uh, step one of two and now all we got to do is enter in our first name last name our job title phone number company name company size so enter in the name enter in your last name and enter in your employee size and company size and just simply click on start my free trial so now that you have done that wait a couple of seconds and it'll load up so this is how it will look like so once you've done that as you can see you have a couple of options over here a couple of questions that you need to answer you don't have to answer that but if you do want to you can go ahead and do that so over here i am looking to manage assets budgets compliance crms and stuff like that employees or whatnot and then the tool i'm currently using is paper slash whiteboard spreadsheets other softwares and stuff like that and then down below you will have a question or comment for the employees of QuickBase if you want to get started together but where you but you don't need to get started with that guy right you have me so let's go ahead and skip directly to trial so over here as you can see this is how it will look like once it's you know finished loading up and over here you have my apps over here so this is how your dashboard I guess so let me just go back I think that's okay this is it so over here my apps over here let's go ahead and create an app over here by clicking on this button or you have your pipelines as well so let's go ahead and click on that one and see what it is so wait a couple of minutes okay so it was taking some time to load up the pipeline so while it loads up let me just tell you about this one over here this option so down below we have some tutorials that we can see some videos that we can play to get started so let's go ahead and click on create an app so when we do that it'll give us this option right here so we can build from a template start from scratch or import a spreadsheet that we already have so we can turn our spreadsheet data into a new app so let's just assume that we don't have a spreadsheet and we don't want to scratch from start because it's quite a lot of hassle let's go ahead and click on build from template because it's much much quicker and it's easier so over here you will have the options of either managing customers marketing your organizations servicing your facilities tracking customers managing projects and stuff like that so let's just assume that we want to manage a project right so let's go ahead and click on continue and over here as you can see this is how the application is going to look like maybe later so let me just go ahead and move all of this can i move all of this okay no if i move it uh, the lines are going to squibbly so let me just go ahead and move this one over here and this one over here and let me just put it here in the center so over here this is how it looks like right so you have your project over here it'll going right and then you have your tasks and expenses so this are both connected to the project and then you have documents that are going to be needed to fill now so it's pretty simple right and you can add different tools as well so we're going to do that later so if we click on over here if we click on expand so we have things over here so we have text currency users data fields and attachments we have expense descriptions the amount the purchased buy expense date receive and add a name or stuff like that and we can add other fields as well by clicking on this button and then just simply entering in the name of that field like it's pretty simple and you can delete the field by just simply clicking on this pen button over here and oh, you will have this one option over here when you click that it's gone so it's pretty simple so let me just go ahead and click on this one over here and we can see that we have a couple of more options over here on the right side so we have delete relationships and we have added relationships so if we want to you know change the relationships as well so let's just say that first we need to have a budget 
for the project then we need to have tasks for the project and then we need documentations in a flow like if you want to change it up a little bit we can go ahead and do that by deleting a couple of different relationships and editing them out so if we click on project over here the project name is going to be over here the description is going to be over here project manager is going to be over here you can assign that as well status priority start date end date and many many more like it's pretty simple it's really easy and you can add others as well so as you can see over here on the left side you have tables so if we click on table we drag and drop it over here we can add the name of a new table right so what else would you need in a project so you have your expenses you have your tasks you have your documentations and uh, let's just assume that you have what would you call it like a complaint box or maybe like a suggestion box or a revisions box right let's just say that we have revisions over here and let's go ahead and add a field so we can add that field over here and we can name it like mistakes and then we can add another one which is going to be revisions and over here let me just go ahead and change the text right so i'm gonna change the text to something else something that would be like you know mistakes and stuff like that right so over here let's go ahead and click on ratings maybe no uh, i think the text is going to be too fine and stuff like that over here when someone makes a mistake they can add the mistakes over here they can add the text and stuff like that and they can tag the person now let's go ahead and assign this to directly to documentations right or assign it directly to the project so over here let me just go over here and click on edit relationships right so over here we want to connect project to revisions as well so project to revisions choose whichever one you want you either want your project to be connected to revisions or you want revisions to be connected to projects let's just connect project to revisions and click on edit and that is basically it as you can see over here it's basically it let's go ahead and create this application so to create an app all you got to do is click on create app over here on the top right button over here click on create an app wait a couple of seconds and once you have done that this is how it will look like wait a couple of seconds before it's loaded up so over here this is how it will look like so you have your project name right you have your expenses you have your tasks you have your documents you have your revisions like it's pretty simple and you can just go ahead and manage all of them so you have your annual conference you have your launch new product and then you have your move office too over here it's a priority you have your priority you have your expenses you can add expenses you have your tasks you can add tasks revisions and you can add revisions and stuff like that then you have your expenses and stacks tasks basically everything that we added over onto that board onto that map everything is over here as well so the pipeline is still loading up i don't understand why i wanted to show you guys that as well but i guess quick base is not letting us go there anymore so this is how you basically you know add different applications over here and what if you wanted to you know like customize the page a little bit so you click on the customization option you have your structures you have your fields table to table relationships and stuff like that you can go ahead and edit them out as well but i don't think you need to and then if you want to you like you know share this tasks or table to someone else just simply come over here click on these three buttons and over here you will have import export email copy link normal spacing condensed spacing and many many more you can go ahead and share it with other people as well and then you have your users over here so if i click on users we can go ahead and add other users by clicking on this button over here share app with new user or you can like you know import users as well so just simply click on import and then add the list over here like if we click on import just simply enter in your work in the work email and your company name and then just simply click on send verification email that is basically going to verify your email and then you can basically share this application with other people as well so it's pretty simple it's really easy so this is how you basically use quickbase to create different apps create different project trackers and then manage the project basically you can do anything with it you don't have to limit yourself with project management like all, anything over here they can do it so it's pretty simple it's really easy so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye